Hey guys, it's Leo with Dreaming Tree, and in this video we're going to put together this really cute Valentine's Day treat box. So let's get started. It's actually very simple, and I've got the main structure here in front of me. So what we're going to do is we're going to begin by simply folding everything at the score marks here. Okay, so just get everything nice and folded and ready. Okay, and we're going to join the two main pieces together to form one long piece. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two pieces and just kind of line them up like so. Just make sure that these pieces here are at the top. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a nice line of glue in the center here. And then I'm also going to put a really thin line of glue along the edge here. And Lately, I've been taking and just kind of running that glue along the edge there just to make sure that it's nice and flush. We have a nice clean seam when all is said and done. So I've got these two pieces lined up and I'm just going to push this tab over and push down. And while it's setting, I'm going to fold it on top of itself and just kind of run my finger along this tab here. And if it feels like it's perfectly on top of the other tab, then you know you've got it perfectly lined up. And you're going to have a nice looking box when you're done here. Okay. And what we can do next is just put glue on this tab here. So a nice line in the middle and then a nice thin flat line towards the edge here. And I'm going to take that like I did the first time and just kind of smear some glue out to the corners there and take this and just close it up and just make sure that these tabs here line up nicely and that's going to ensure that your box is perfect okay so there we go basic structure of this thing is pretty much done and it should fold flat both ways now there's a couple things I want to do before we close this thing off. And one of those is taking the bottom piece and gluing that to one of the tabs. It doesn't matter which one. Let's just get that glued into place while this thing's flat. And again, just taking and just taking one of these and running that, that glue out to the edge there. And I'm going to glue that flat and just do your best to line that up. Make sure that it's just slightly below that score mark. Okay. Just like that. Okay. And a little glue kind of pop out there and that's okay. Cause it's the bottom. You're not really going to see that too much. Okay. And what we also want to do is while this thing is dry, now, I'm going to put this little heart together real quick, okay? Um, I've already glued the foil down onto the white piece here, okay? You're, you may not be using foil, you may be using something else, but I've got that piece already glued down. We're going to take this piece and glue that piece down, okay? Try to get the glue out to the edge too so it sits nice and flush. And then just do your best to just center that right in the center of this heart. So you've basically got three little heart shapes stacked on top of each other. And then glue the middle of the O in place. Okay. I don't need to do that. Okay, so here's what your box should look like up to this point. Okay. And now the reason that I'm still not putting this thing together is because this heart here, you'll notice that there are some score marks on the back of this. Okay, there's one here, one here, and one here. And we added those on there to help you with the alignment on this piece here. Okay, so let me just show you the final box here real quick so that you can see how it works. Okay, and it kind of just slides. It's got like a, a notch system, but you see how we have that glued on there. Okay, so, so grab your box and pretend like it's put together at the bottom, okay, and fold these in 
and then you see how these kind of these lock like this okay the heart is going to be glued to the flap on the left hand side okay so let's undo this okay so we're going to be gluing the heart to this side here so i'm going to as you can see here just showing you the final one and then the one that's not complete yet okay we're going to glue the heart like this okay now you want to make sure that this slit Okay, just kind of take a look at this slit and just make sure that it's going vertically, okay? And make sure that the slit is slightly to the left of the center of the heart, okay? And then the rest of it should line up with the little score marks, okay? And just make sure that you don't put glue beyond this point here, okay? So what I'm gonna do to make sure that I don't do that is I am going to apply my glue to this tab here, just like this. Okay. Get a nice amount of glue on there. And then fold it over. Don't drop it just yet. Make sure that you've got it nice and perfectly aligned and that that little slit is completely vertical. Okay, just start kind of get the top part in place and then follow those score marks. And just make sure that you've got it nice and aligned, just like that, okay? So we've got the heart glued into place, okay? And that's what it should look like. So let, we're gonna let that dry for now. And at this point, I'm gonna move this box out of the way. We can go ahead and glue the bottom on, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and put glue on all these tabs here. And then also get a nice thin line out to the edge. And if you can be careful with your glue bottle, that's great. If you can't, then there's always your finger that you can use to kind of spread that thin and out to the edge just to make sure that you've got a nice clean finish. Okay, and then we're gonna close that up. Just make sure you don't have glue all over you. Close that up nicely. And you can put that down on your table and then push from the inside. And I'm actually gonna stand up and do this. And just push down from the inside to get that bottom to really stick, okay? And we have a liner piece. It's got a little L on it. You can go ahead and just place that in there. I would actually glue it in there. And really at this point, all that's left to do is embellish this thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this up and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna um, close it up completely. I'm gonna leave that slit free. And let's take a look at the little embellishment pieces. Okay, so we have three that look like this. Okay, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna glue this piece onto the center, like so, on all three of these pieces. Okay. And then you have two of these smaller ones. You're gonna glue that into the center of those pieces. Just do your best to get them nice and centered, okay? And then we have a series of hearts, okay? We actually, I took and embossed all of the stuff that we did um, on this cut here. We did this in a silver foil and then I ran it through the embossing machine. And um, so once you have that in place, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the long ones, actually these only go in one place here, you're gonna put, you're gonna center this on your box, okay, just like that. And then, so make sure that you put these on first. There's gonna be one on the bottom to kind of give it the look of a, um, a ribbon that's tied around the box completely. So you got one on this side here, one on the bottom, and then one on the opposite side, okay? So let me just do one side real quick to do this piece first. Get it really flush at the bottom. Focus on getting it flush at the bottom here, okay? You kind of don't want it to overlap the score mark here, so get it nice and flush with the bottom, just like that, okay? And then with this flap open, you're gonna go ahead and glue this piece on here, okay? 
and just make sure that you are not overlapping the slit. It should fit perfectly, okay? And then you're gonna repeat the same thing on this side. So you're gonna glue this piece here, just making sure that it's nice and flush at the bottom. And then you have this other piece here that you're gonna glue right there. Of course, it's going to line up with this one here. So that's gonna get glued right under there, okay? And then the hearts here, let me show you our final one here. So on the sides that don't have the little ribbon piece, this trim piece, so basically the front and the back, you're gonna glue, actually I pop dotted these after I embossed them and put little heart um, rhinestones on them. And these are just these um, Aurora Borealis um, rhinestones. And you can add those on both the front and the back. So to open and close the box, you're just gonna take, let me see if I can do this here on camera. You're just going to take and just slide the slit over the other slit, okay? And then it just closes like that. And you've got a super pretty, super simple little box for Valentine's Day to fill with some really special treats for that special someone. Stay on top of all things Dreaming Tree and engage with us today. Get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on Facebook. Get inspired by following us on Pinterest. Be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. Do you prefer Twitter? Yep, we're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www.3dsvg.com. Live, craft, love, and dream.